My name is Antonia Ermacher and today I want to talk about informal contractions. These are just some of them, there are many, many more and I will give you a lot of examples. Now, what are informal contractions? They are words which actually combine the meaning of a whole phrase. They are extremely colloquial. You can hear them in speech and sometimes even find them in writing, for example, on Twitter. Gonna, wanna, gotta, getcha, letcha, ima, tzizi, and a lot of others. We'll take a sneak peek at each and every one of them. Gonna. This is an example of an informal contraction. And it means going to. How do they appear? Well, native speakers speak very fast. And that's why sometimes whole phrases just blend in. They turn into just one word because they are pronounced really fast. And therefore, instead of going to, we have gonna. An example, don't worry, I'm gonna help you. Which means, I'm going to help you. Wanna means want to. I don't wanna go home, I wanna play. A kid could say that. I want to play, I wanna play. I don't wanna go, I don't want to go home. Gotta means got to or have got to. Sorry, I can't stay, I gotta go. I have got to go. And it turns into I gotta go. Gotcha. Got you. Gotcha. As you know, you is sometimes pronounced as yeah. And that's why we have gotcha. Like when you catch someone, you say, I gotcha. You can't go anywhere now. Or you can say, gotcha. It was just a joke. I'm kidding. Coulda. Could have. Woulda. Would have. And there are many more examples. I will show you later. So very often, a at the end of the word means have. If I could get paid to sleep, I would have been so very rich by now. Moving on to some more contractions. Shoulda, musta, also have. A instead of have. Shoulda, should have, musta, must have. I should have read that contract more closely before signing it. I should have read. I should have read. It must have been fate. It must have been fate. I'm talking about meeting my sweetheart several years ago. It must have been fate that we lived in the same building. Now, oughta and hafta. A stand for something very different here. Two. So we have oughta instead of ought to and hafta instead of have to. That ought to do it. I have to go. Talk to ya later. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. Talk to ya. To you. We have to ya. Gosh. Let me and give me as very similar. Let me. We have let me. Give me. And we have give me. Give me, give me, give me a man after midnight. One example combining these two. Let me help you. Give me that. <laughs> Let's imagine that a girl is trying to repair a car. And her boyfriend says, let me help you. Give me that. You will hurt yourself with this tool. Moving on. Another six. Let you. Let you. Will ya? Will you? I'ma let you go. I'm going to let you go. Here's another contraction which is extremely popular. 
in American English. I'm a, sometimes it's written with double M. I'm a or I am going to. Will ya? Will it help me? Just calm down, will ya? The next pair, lot of instead of lot of and lots of instead of lots of. I have a lot of friends. We have lots of room here. I'm a, I have already talked about it. It can substitute I am a, here it is an article, or the phrase I am going to. I'm a let you think what you think and let you know what you know. I found this phrase on Twitter. There are so many contractions here. Here we have I'm a, Letcha, whatcha, what you also can be included here, and that's it. Yes. It's easy. It is easy. It's, nah, it's easy. You don't even have to think. The math does itself. It's easy. No worries. It's easy. You don't need to think. Sorta, kinda, very similar. Sorta is sort of and kinda is kind of. You are sorta cute. This film is kinda lame. You are being kinda rude. Ain't is used instead of am not, are not, is not and even sometimes instead of have not. Wow, very colloquial. This ain't gonna happen. I ain't gonna help you. Donna. It's don't know. I don't know. Cup. Cup of. Would you like a cup of tea? Sometimes cup is used as a cup of tea. So you don't even need to add tea. Just simply say, would you like a cup of? Woo. There are a lot of contractions in English. I'm sure there are more, but I've tried to organize, to put together the most frequently used ones. But that's it for today. I hope that you liked this video. If you actually did, do not forget to press the button, like it, share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to continue studying English with me. And I hope to see you soon. Bye! Happy! English and Russian.